It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Salt Beer Company and this is the The Hop. It's a single hop mosaic edition beer coming in at 5% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. This one available into Asda. Now Asda have launched a new craft beer range. Uh, they really kind of dip their toe in the water with this whole craft beer craze with, with supermarkets and 440 cans and three pound cans. And I'm going to start off by saying something about my previous reviews of these supermarket beers. Oh, right, that was a bit of an hard one. Right, um, lots and lots of you have been enjoying these supermarket beer reviews. Let's show you what we have in the glass. Lots of you have enjoyed my complete honesty with these supermarket craft beers. And that's all I can be. That's all I can do is be honest. But I noticed there's a few comments coming through with, ah, oh, here we go, here's another supermarket beer that Real Ale Craft Beer doesn't like. And I can take on board the criticism, of course I can. It's, you know, I, I'm there, I'm putting myself out there. Of course, you guys are, are very kind of welcome to your opinion. But what, what I'd like to say in, in return is, all I'm doing is being honest. All I'm doing is being honest. I'm being as honest as I possibly can. And I'm not gonna stop being honest. I'm not gonna be, st I'm really not gonna stop being honest. If this is a really, really good beer, which fingers crossed, I hope it is. I've had salt beers in a number of supermarkets. This is the first one into Asda. I got my fingers crossed that it's gonna be a great beer. And if it is, I'll tell you it's a great beer for three pounds a can. But equally, equally, if it's not, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. One to two finger, white head, good start to the beer. It's a hazy, straw coloured beer. Light levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. A very light looking beer. So, I mean, first and foremost, fantastic. It looks great. Let's get the aroma. Now again, this is just my honesty. It's smelling slightly, it's got a sweet wheat aroma coming through. I'm picking up quite a bit of malt in this beer. Light malts, light sweet malts. There's a little bit of Citra hop coming through, Citra, mosaic, mosaic hop coming through. Let's let's taste it before before I get into this. Let's 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 taste it, and I'm going to give you an honest opinion. But the aroma, it's not great. It's not a great aroma. Let's dive in. Cheers. I mean, I, I, I'm gonna just come on. I'm, I'm here to be shot at. I'm here to be shot at. But I'm not gonna stop giving my opinion. I'm not gonna hold back. I've never held back in a beer review. I'm not gonna start holding back now. I tell you what's happened here, and there's been a few comments that kind of like suggest it. I've mentioned it in a couple of these other previous supermarket beers. I think the margins are closed. Now, whereas this is an Asda, brewed for Asda, exclusively for Asda craft beer, made by salt at Salt Beer. Tesco had some amazing salt beers. The Huckerback, really, really good beer. I've had some really good beers from Salt in Tesco and Morrison's. What I think has happened is that their margins are not as bad as what 
Asda have agreed with Sol. What I mean by margins, if you're not wondering, if you're trying to work out what's going on at this stage, it's what the supermarket is prepared to pay for each beer. And it's the profit that they want to make from each beer. And I think Asda are being, just from the two beers that I've reviewed so far, we've had the Honeycomb Pale Ale from Seven Brothers, and now we've had this salt beer. I've not had a bad salt beer. I've not had a bad salt beer from salt at all. They've all been really, really good. This is a complete shambles. This is a complete shambles. And I'm not... I was just about to say I'm not blaming salt, but you have to, of course, you have to blame salt in some degree here. Because Asda didn't go and put a gun to Salt's head and said, you know, you have to brew us beer. That never happened. That was never, ever going to happen. So they've agreed to this. They've agreed to this. They've agreed to the margins. Now, I think it's too tight. I think what they've... They've said yes to brewing a beer for Asda and Asda are trying to make a massive profit on each on each can. That's what I can see. This is this is terrible beer. It's really bland. It's really, really bland. I, I hope this is not the future. I I, I hope that Tesco's and Morrison's at least, Sainsbury's of course. Let's hope that they give the brewer a fair deal and that these three pound cans of craft beer can still be good. But so far the beer, the two beers I've had from Asda, and it's so unlike Salt Beer Factory to produce something like this. It's so unlike them. From the beers I've had, this is a complete shambles. Complete shambles. And they must have, I don't know how long the contract they've signed with Asda for this, but they need to, I don't know, I think they need to run away from this. I think Salt needs to run away from Asda as quickly as they can, because it's going to tarnish their reputation. It's really going to tarnish their reputation. Now, I shop in Asda. I shop in Asda. I buy bread in Asda. I buy, buy milk. and I used to work in Asda. And... Of course, this is not me just attacking ads because I used to work there. This is me attacking a beer that is just not good. Not good. And it's not good for the craft beer industry as a whole. Um, it's certainly not good for new people who are trying to get into craft beer and they're tasting beers like this and going, hmm, actually, I'd rather have a can of, a, a slab of £15 lagers than pay £3 a can because this is nothing special. It's so bland. It's so bland. It's it's like just so <sighs> malty. It's so malty. It's got a touch, a, a smallest amount of touch of but it's got a staleness to it. It's got um got a slight off flavour. I don't know where Asda are storing these beers, um, but the Honeycomb Pale Ale from Seven, Bro Seven Brothers, that had a, 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 an off flavour as well. And this is, is not much better. I don't know, maybe, maybe they've stored it in the sun or something. I don't, it, it's dreadful. Dreadful. Now I know, going back to the comments, there's been conflicting comments. There's been comments saying, well, I had a really nice honeycomb pale ale. And, and I'm, there's probably people who have, have had really nice the hop mosaic. Maybe it's just the Asda when I bought this. I don't know, the delivery lot driver left it out in the sun and it stayed there for a few hours. I don't know, it just, it just, it's not right. It's not right. And I can only review what's in front of me. I can only review this kind of beer, what's in front of me. So I thank, I thank you, criticism, I honestly do, and I take it on the chin and I take it on board, but I'm not going to stop being honest. I'm not going to stop being honest. This, 
it's not very good beer. It's not very good beer. It's it's no more than a than a four out of ten. Four out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.